Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, A Curious Cuttlefish. I'm Sarah, and today we're going to go on another yarn dyeing adventure. Welcome back everyone. I so appreciate all of you. I do enjoy chatting with you. Um, I'm Sarah. If you are new to my channel, you can connect with me on Instagram as a curious cuttlefish and my email, which is a curious cuttlefish at gmail.com. Today we are going on a yarn dyeing adventure. It is a day late. I typically do my yarn dyeing adventures on Wednesday, but this week is a bit crazy. And so <laughs> it got pushed back to today. So welcome everyone. I um, will be showing you some experimentation I did. So um, I had some leftover dye from last week's video where I did a purple and pink colorway and I thought I would use it along with Mr. Cuttlefish had a bottle of red wine that um, went bad. It spoiled. So instead of him throwing the wine away, he suggested that I use it. And I figured red wine stains your clothes, so why not use it to dye some yarn? So today, you are going to get me... No. You are going to see me experimenting with said bottle of spoiled wine and a leftover dye from last week's video. So let me move the camera over to the kitchen and let's go check out and see what this will look like. I'll bring you guys back here after I am done with that process. Hello everyone. So this may be one of the weirder things I've done, but we have a whole bottle of wine plus some water here in my dye pot, I added some vinegar. Is wine acidic? I'm not sure. But I added some vinegar and water to it. I know wine stains your clothes, so why not use it for yarn? Rocco got into something over there. I'm gonna have to figure that out later. Okay, so here's my yarn. We are going to just wrap this in. Alrighty everyone, so we are back here. I apologize for any background noise and if there's some buzzing. I have fans on all over. We do not have AC here. It is warm. Higher humidity today, so I'm doing this so I won't be glowing. <laughs> we don't have AC. So this is how I try to stay cool. Anyways, on to the beautiful yarn that got dyed. I did not take video of um, the yarn actually drying because it was very warm and it dried way faster than I'm used to, which is a great thing, but then I didn't have time to take that video. So without further ado, let me show you. Here is that yarn. I got to create. And what is shocking to me is that was a red wine, but I, from the dyeing process, this is a much more like mauve, taupey color. And granted, this purple was left over from. Um, the purple from last week's dye, but look at those colors. So this is 100% superwash merino wool, and I really like how it picked up these colors. I really like this colorway, and for it being an experiment, um, it turned out very nicely. So, wrap this up. I was very pleased with how it came out. I'm a bit saddened that I only did two skeins of yarn. Or two hanks. Guys, I picked the best days to do this. There's always background noise. So, welcome to trash day at the Cuttlefish Home. I am going to pause this and wait for the truck to go by. 
<laughs> Welcome to real life, where I don't edit out life. This is <laughs> this is how I do things on my channel. Um, anyways, here's the yarn. There are two hanks of this. I was very pleased with how they came out. You looking for them? I am hoping to have time to update my shop. It's gonna be tomorrow or Sunday. I am helping out with a friend's wedding, and so Saturday is Saturday will be gone. <laughs> but I will put up a video once I have this photographed and in the shop. But I only made two skeins of this because I didn't know if there would be enough stain dye in the wine to cover more than. So there they are. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me on another yarn tying adventure. I have a great time creating these videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching them, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you all soon. Bye.